So how are the indices constructed? The idea is that if you have a good, if your company is well governed, you should have a high index number. That's the basic idea. And the kinds of uh, variables that uh, both academics and the industry practitioners uh, look at are similar. And those variables, you might guess, are things like the size of the corporate board, the composition of the corporate board, the compensation structure of the CEO. But governance is a multi-dimensional attribute. And I have mentioned a few of those, but these attributes go into hundreds. So, what we tried to highlight was the fact that, look, if you're trying to condense these several hundred variables into one number, that is going to be a non-trivial task. And even if you have a very uh, wise academic and a very uh, street smart industry practitioner, and even if you were to combine their combined skills, uh, they may still not be able to, to combine them in, in the way that an investor would like. For example, an investor may weigh their anti-takeover provisions much more strongly than, say, things what are called progressive practices like board tenure. The investor isn't much concerned about how long the board member has been there. They're more concerned about uh, the pay structure. The weight that the a, a good corporate governance index should provide is the weight that an investor puts on these different hundreds of variables. And it's very difficult and we think it's close to impossible for any academic researcher or an industry practitioner to have that great insight. If investors are looking for uh, just one or two uh, pieces of data because the ability to analyze data is limited, uh, even for sophisticated investors, they should look at the stock holdings, the dollar value of the stock holdings of the directors in the company that they are, they have an interest in investing in or that they have invested in. Now what do you mean by a lot of stock? Let me give you a number, maybe around $3 million for large US companies. Then most likely these companies will be well governed. So this is a very you know, broad way of putting it, looking at just one number. But then again, we, what we try to caution is that you know, there is sort of no one governance measure can capture the complexity of how a company is governed, what a company does. But if you, if you have to think about just one measure, then you should look at the ownership of the directors in that company. Mm -hmm.